Let's talk a little bit about what's going on behind the scenes in, uh, in the modules and let's look at a couple of modules that are standard coming with Perl. So you know that when uh, you load a module using the use statement then it Perl will look for a file with the same name with the .apm extension in the adding directory. So if we are loading the CWD module for example then Perl will look for the CW cwd.pm file in the directory is listed in at inc. What's in at inc you can uh, check using Perl minus v. What else can you do? So if you have uh, Perl doc installed and uh, probably you have, if you don't then in, on a Linux system it's usually you need to in, uh, install the Perl dash doc package. Some Linux systems are separating it. And then you can type Perl doc cwd as it here and get the documentation. Let's uh, see it. So I switch to the console and if I type in cwd, then uh, here I get the documentation. I can go through it and so on. If I type here minus l, it will give me the location of the, the file. So it will... It's, it's helpful if you are loading a module and somehow it doesn't uh, seemed right then maybe you have two versions of the module and with this tool you can find out which version Perlog sees as the first module and then the minus M will let you see the actual content of the module so you see that it starts with package CWD and then it immediately starts the documentation with the pod and uh, we go through now the documentation with a space page through and here uh, the outer, yes, and here at the add equal cut, that's where the documentation adds and here the code starts. Where do you put the documentation, at the beginning, at the end or in the middle, it doesn't really matter for Perl, it's, uh, it matters for readability, so some people prefer this way, some people prefer that way. Anyway, in this module you see that it uses strict, it doesn't use warning, probably because it still needs to support old versions of Perl or whatever. Um, anyway, this uses strict and then it uses the exporter module. And what I wanted to show you is this here, the export array. It sets a couple of uh, function names. So these are the default functions. Now what's interesting is that next line, it adds another function. So it pushes to the export array another function if the operating system is Windows. So apparently this function, get cwd, is relevant only for Windows or it's for some reason it seems important for Windows. So it's get exported only when we are running on Windows. And then there is also this export ok array with additional functions that are optional and the user, the user of your module, of users of this module, of cwd, can import if, if she wants to but they won't be imported if just the user said use CWD because they are optional. And uh, that's it. You can go over this uh, way the, the module and see how it works. We won't do that right now. I just wanted to show you how to find the source code of modules easily and how to see and to see specifically this module how it uses the export module.